شكرا للسيده ماريا سيلين رئيس برنامج التنميه الاقليميه بمنطقه الشرق الاوسط وشمال افريقيا بسفاره السويد في عمان الكلمة الآن لمعالي السيد أوليفر فارجي مفوض الاتحاد الأوروبي لشؤون دول الجوار ومباحثات التوسع وشغل السيد فارجي العديد من المناصب العليا بالمفوضية الأوروبية منذ 2008 كممثل دولة المجر بالمفوضية ورئيس الإدارة العامة للحقوق الملكية الصناعية سير أوليفر Dear Minister, dear guests, ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> I'm honored to address you today at the Cairo Water Week, one of the biggest water-related gatherings, uh, not only in Egypt, uh, but in the Mediterranean and also in Africa. It is my pleasure that from its uh, very conception and now for the fourth year in a row, the European Union is a strategic partner to the Egyptian authorities in organizing, organizing this prestigious event. Our contribution to the, the Cairo Week, Water Week, stems from our firm commitment to Egypt's sustainable development, and in particular, its water sector. This year's theme, which is water, population, and global changes, challenges, and opportunities could not be more timely. Faced with the urgency of climate change, many regions in the world are confronted with more frequent, severe, and long-lasting extreme weather events, water cycle, and temperature changes. This often leads to a severe water scarcity, which can have the establishing the destabilizing effects on countries and regions and result in increasing inequalities and instability. Water is a prerequisite for human life and dignity. This is a basic human right. Access to clean drinking water and the sanitation are essential for the realization of all human rights. It is fundamental for the resilience of societies, economies, and of course, the environment. This is especially true in Egypt, where rapid population growth alone will place increasing strains on water availability. Water is a sector in which the European Union has been the most active for well over a decade. We have provided support to help improve the quality of life for Egyptian people by expanding water and wastewater coverage and enhancing the quality of water resources. We have been working jointly with the Egyptian institutions throughout the water cycle. Our partnership covers the strategic, practical, and financial perspectives. At strategic level, we have been assisting with the planning of water management through support to the, to the preparation of the National Water Resources Strategy for Egypt 2017 to 2050, as well as the National Rural Sanitation Program. In practical terms, we have carried out several projects helping the Egyptian population on the ground. Just to name you a few, the rehabilitation of the Kitchener drain in the Delta region, a novel project that helps the depollution of the drain, or the multiplied phases of the national drainage program and wastewater treatment programs in Kafr el Sheikh, Alexandria, and Lake Quarun. And this has helped over 3 million people in Garbia, Sharkia. Lamieta and Baharia gain, across, gain access to water and sanitation. And now, a new phase of the program is increasing the coverage to governorates of Kena, Sohag, Asuit, and Minya. Since 2007, 
the European Union provided to Egypt in response to water challenges more than 550 million euros in grants, leveraging funds of nearly 3 billion euros in this sector. Our existing programs funded together with the European financing institutions extended to over 16 Egyptian governorates and provides nearly 20,000 permanent jobs and 600,000 short-term job opportunities, mainly in rural areas. They will help to improve the quality of life for nearly 18 and a half million people in Egypt by 2024, 20, almost 20% of the population of the country. But there is more to come. This spring, the European Union offered a new agenda for the Mediterranean. This agenda is based on the conviction that by working together and in a spirit of partnership, common challenges can be turned into common opportunities in the mutual interest of the EU and in the southern neighborhood, and in particular of Egypt. The new agenda includes a dedicated economic and investment plan to stimulate a long-term socio-economic development and recovery in the southern neighborhood. From the EU budget, we aim to allocate up to 7 billion euros for the rollout of this investment plan during the coming seven years. This is expected to mobilize up to 30 billion euros in private and public investment in the region during the next decade. For Egypt, the EU contribution could represent up to 1 billion euros between now and 2027 mobilizing nearly 9 billion euros of additional investments in the country. Water is among the top priorities in this plan. I'm glad to announce that the European Union is joining efforts with member states, the EIB, the EBRD, to prepare a large intervention on integrated water and food security. With this investment, we will support Egypt's effort to combat climate change, protect the environment, and ensure sustainable food systems. Our objective is to develop secure and resilient water management and a sustainable circular society, the so-called water smart society. We are convinced that this will contribute to the transformation of Egypt towards a modern, resource efficient, and competitive economy. It will also spur significant economic benefits, and it will help Egypt's flagship initiative on rural development under the umbrella of the Hayat Karima that is designed to transform the lives and livelihoods of communities in the most unprivileged villages of Upper Egypt. We're looking forward to working with our Egyptian partners to support this initiative. In the same way, we remain committed to engage with you on the green and digital transformation. Ladies and gentlemen, we acknowledge that in much of the Middle East and North Africa, the combination of recurrent drought cycles, physical water scarcity and poor water quality and weak institutional performance contribute to a growing water crisis. Population growth only adds to this situation. We know that we need to urgently address these challenges. You can count on the continued support and firm commitment of the European Union to safeguard the value of this precious natural resource. Thank you very much for your attention.